going YouTube welcome to upside DIY so it's pretty much in the middle of August and this plastic is covering I got another piece of plastic I start I taped up a barrier I could have um put I should or I was planning to reverse you know uh, the mold but or the the uh, veneer I guess this should be been here and this should have been over here would have been a better mold but uh I could always make more of these um I and then I I taped up the barrier I have a lot of electrical tape or whatnot um there's a new roll here I just use up I need to use up a lot of the stuff that I have spend a lot more time doing stuff I could probably make you know, a, a lot of these if I have more plastic sheeting, which I do. So, um, and then it's been drying for a day or two. And when I put in the, and I wrapped up the veneer pretty nicely, this is just an example of pretty much the teeth. The, the last few videos, I, I was a little bit clumsy and was mimicking my my own um personal ideas or things like that i i don't know um but just make the whole mold for this one uh just but uh, it's the top and the bottom top and bottom and then yeah i just pressed and i did a good job wrapping it i put a little bit of oil around there it's really not important uh, for this project but sometimes you, you need some oil when you're molding or some type of powder releasing agent spray or something um you i basically use some uh you know just stuff that i found cell oil so and you know you kind of press on this top and then it basically it basically has cracks and stuff, so I filled in the cracks, a lot of the cracks on this. But before, this is kind of like, um, not the casting that I'm, I'm trying to get, but it's, it's, uh, you know, a part of, and then I would actually fill in what I need to with, uh, epoxy glue or, I'm, I haven't worked everything out. I have other uh, dental supplies and equipment. But that's for, uh, you know, step four, casting and drilling. But I'm just going to review step one, two, and three. I really don't make my videos that good, uh, you know, completed and stuff like that or edited. Just because um, I, just, I just don't have, like, a, a, a main Wi-Fi connection or anything like that. But... This, in this box, uh, I keep kind of step one, uh, the templates, and then I cut little pieces of plastic and outline it on pieces of paper. Then I add tape on the paper, so a lot of people are familiar with that. And then um, step two is outlines and assembling, which is pretty much, uh, you know, having a, a you know, a... a A good, you know, some some sense of making the uh, the right sizes and the right ideas to to kind of make a tray or something where I put like bubble gum wrapped in plastic. Pretty much some of this stuff right here. I could compare it to just some just sitting in water and stuff. I'm using hydrogen hydrogen peroxide and laundry detergent. I guess, and um, it, it stays a little bit more clear. I gotta rinse this off, but uh, you know, and see how soft things are. Uh, you know, but the main thing that this thing is going to do is going to give me a good, uh, you know, idea of where pieces of the bubble gum are going to go, and then I put that onto a tray. It, you know wherever the missing tooth is and then I've got these trays uh, made so that I can make an impression of the bottom tooth 
so of, the, of you know uh, where the teeth are lining up you don't even really need a tray or you do kind of need a tray just because you know uh from the front and back of the tooth uh you know um it's going to you know try to squeeze i guess but uh it's, it's up to you it's really not that major or anything it's, it's but and then you kind of use a popsicle stick and then push on the bubble gum or whatnot or use the tongue and things like that to help um get a good impression and then um i would say something like this is ready for casting and that's what i mentioned um you know but it's not going to be cast primarily with something like this what you want to do is have uh, pretty much epoxy glue underneath and then and then make an impression on the glue and stuff and I have some glue right here that is pretty fast setting sets in 90 seconds and things and then um, it's going to uh, pretty much uh, you know make an impression at the bottom and then you kind of build the walls um basically and and you gotta you know um sculpture the bubble gum and things um while and, and then you know just but just making a, a good mold and knowing where the teeth are going to line up it's going to help you with that and then knowing where the gum line and how the gum is actually uh you know um the surface of the gum and, and and knowing the top of the mold you could pretty much mold the bottom and the top um but while you do you know but the only problem is it's it's got to have some way to remove the the gum material so so for now the first step is just to mold the bottom um where the teeth are going to line up and then um you got to you know figure out uh, probably just do the sides and and then uh you know enclose the mold and then finally do the gum line and then um you'll be able to remove the top uh, and then p make one main pour or something like that and you know I'm still working on some of the um actual like uh I I don't know what to call it with the casting, like the, you know, the actual, the ceramic, I guess. I really don't know that. I've got to, um, you know, I, I have some plastic pieces and then maybe fill it with glue and things too. But this is what I've got for now. Um, the thing is, uh, I'm using, you know, just really, uh, you know, supplies like liquid nail and, th and um, just making this part just just to you know just just to stay busy practically um you know there's even like wood glue that i have here so you never really know it doesn't really take that much amount um there could be epoxy resins it's kind of like right there it's just a little small bottles but uh it costs like 20 dollars or something but if i could get like a really good uh and i really don't know how much i have left probably like half a bottle but um, if I could get a really good mold or veneer and things like that, it's uh, you know it, it, it was worth the uh, you know purchase thirteen ninety really not that expensive and I kind of use this for uh, a, a few project like you know with phone cases and things like that. Um, but I really don't know like to tint and I might have to go uh, for some like some natural looking stuff like flower petals grinding flower petals and the powder and things like that uh just depends um but uh yeah all, and throughout this whole process you got to pay attention to pretty much cleaning up stuff uh you know having things decently supported and things and giving things time to dry um and testing stuff uh, to see if, it, if it's waterproof or you know things like this if it's waterproof and you know um, pretty much sanitized and stuff
So I'm still working on a few things, but I just wanted to make a really clear video about kind of well, yeah, just uh, this so I could go on to other projects. Um, you know, I've got to figure out like I've got to figure out pretty much a to-do list. There's going to be more stuff like automotive or just a to-do list, and then, and then I I got to really you know market my my own um you know experience and things into things for now i've just been studying a few things and sorting out a lot of books aquariums and uh, aquascaping or whatnot electronics bicycles and i'm narrowing narrowing down to what i need to study year by year so and then going back actually to what i really you know feel like is going to happen this year and then that's Pretty much um, electronics, um, I'm really, uh, you know, bicycles, dental, pond and gardening. Um, there's always pond and gardening with seeds. And yeah, um, the more this to-do list is, you know, you just collect everything, I guess. But eventually, um, you know, I, I, you, you got to, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, sort out um what is the best um, for the time and the space you have? Like these larger popsicle sticks, I could really keep inside my dental kit. So this is going to be a dental kit and things, and I'm going to be making more trays. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited uh, with the progress and the the amount that I'm putting into this. Uh, I, I didn't. I only started this maybe three, four months ago, but I was planning for a year, and I got all the supplies and tools and things, so it's going to be really interesting, um, you know, what I could figure out and stuff, and, uh, you know, I've been doing other researches like preparing, or, you know, mouthwashes and, you know... Just finding other home remedies and stuff, which is pretty useful. Uh, but, yeah, it's just for my own personal, um, uh, you know, research to share, I guess, on my channel. And then there is basically finishing up step three and molding and impressions. That's pretty much what most of this or this uh, is trying. But it's really not like... Uh, you know the the last um you know part there can be drumming there could be you know there could be some grinding and shaping the mold it it just all depends on what i get on my own um out of my own you know features of of my own own mold and then uh you know figure out the final casting for that and you know, I have the conical screws where you, uh, you actually screw into the mouth and then glue these on. But I'm not going to be able to drill inside of my own mouth or anything. I've got to hire somebody to drill a couple, couple holes and things like that and glue on the permanent teeth. But with, with this, I can also learn to make uh, dentures and veneers. Having you know, ways to, to support the tooth without being seen is a, a, a good challenge. Uh, whereas, uh, using some type of rubbery or some type of, um, connector to the back of the tooth and things. And even with the front of the tooth, I might have to, uh, drill or something like that and, or glue to the sides of the teeth. Um, it's really interesting. Um, but that's what I would do for myself for the back teeth and, you know, just any missing teeth. And, and it's really tough. You know, you got to really plan out exactly um, the the procedure that you'll need. And it, and we'll just have to see. Uh, uh, see you guys uh, when I make a, an impression of my own teeth. But I just want to update you guys on this. So thanks for watching.